In the top right position is the red Terran player representing Mouse Esports. We have none other than Hero Marine. And winning the previous game in unbelievably amazing fashion. We have in the bottom left-hand corner his opponent representing FX Open. It is none other than Strelok. The Ukrainian. The Ukrainian. Not the Russian. <laughs> the Ukrainian. That isn't the, White Ra. The Ukrainian. That isn't Bly. We should, we should do that isn't like... A whole a bunch of, Ukraine's actually like a really good StarCraft country. There's a lot of good European players from Ukraine. Yeah, it definitely does. I mean, try to name... There's a few countries that produce more than others, so to say. Uh, Ukraine, definitely one of those. Sweden. Sweden, definitely one of those. Um, yeah, any others that you want to name? I mean, France has... Yeah, people like Stefano and Feast and, you know, some others that I'm forgetting right now. But France is a really big country. They're supposed to have a few good ones. Yeah, no, that's a good point, actually. Uh, France. Well, I mean, Stefano almost carries France. Isn't strictly true. But actually, um, don't forget, Todd's back in France right now. Todd? Yeah, of yeah. course. He also He's played in this tournament. This one. That's right. Yeah. I and, believe he lost 2-1 uh, to... One, two... Oh, in a very, very close series as well. To, like to crank. yeah, I think so. Yeah, it was, it was really entertaining to watch and a little bit heartbreaking for Todd. But Crank also played incredibly well. So uh, Axiom, uh, Axiom really giving themselves a pretty good name in this tournament so far. And uh, Crank, of course, qualifying for I forty eight, the set UK Masters Grand Finals. In the yep. meantime, guys, in this particular game, we've got gas once again from both players, but this time. Uh, opting to grab a marine first, so perhaps looking to counter any early reaper pressure and instead just going for an earlier factory. Yeah, well, actually, they always open oh. uh, a marine into a uh, into a reaper. Sorry. Oh yeah, of course. Depending on the uh, <laughs> timing of the gas. No, that's a great point. Sorry for some reason. For some reason, I thought they went gas first, but of course they didn't. It no, it's a <laughs> it's a standard, pretty standard opener. Both going for the Reaper, and we're probably going to see the expansion go down in a second. Uh, the gas mining has slowed down. Hero Marine only has one SCV mining gas, whereas yep. Strelok still has three. So we're going to probably see him going for a bit of a quicker factory than his opponent after his command center. That's right. Um, this, of course, is something that Thorzane used to do in Wings of Liberty. I think he was like the first European dude that I saw in a major tournament do that. As soon as he got what he wanted out of that first gas, he immediately pulled two workers, or sometimes even all of his workers, off of it just until he got the command center and then put workers back on. If you take a look right now, Hero Marine has three workers on his gas again. Yeah, he put them back in, and uh, the factory is a, a lot earlier, actually, for Strelok, because Hero Marine... He's going to be playing a bio style again as we see his Reaper get into the main base. Mm, not sure what he was shooting at there. The reactor took a few hits. Nothing too important, though. The Reaper should be able to get out of here. Starts healing up. Might be able to kill this SCV. No, doesn't want to. Instead, Wishful he wants thinking, to... man. Instead, he wants <laughs> to hit the command center. <laughs> He's actually going to get out of there. Wow. Oh, that Reaper's really trying his luck on right there, but a Hero Marine does manage to get both Reapers successfully getting out. And uh, I hope that doesn't mean we're now going to have a Reaper on Reaper showdown in the middle of the map. We've got the Starport now going down for Strelok in addition to his second gas as well. His command center is already built on the low ground. Hero Marine, of course, will have to wait a while because he built it on the high ground. Yeah, a little bit safer, a little bit more secure, but also going to mean that his economy is going to be slightly suffering. And once again, both players are playing... Oh, we see the Reaper once again coming in. The Reaper actually got a kill. The Reaper got a kill. Someone posted on Twitter, a Reaper in Heart of the Swarm got a kill. That's not something you see every day because they do so little damage with their little BB guns, as Jorosar pointed out in last match. <laughs> Definitely do. He got a kill, but he had about as much time to brag about it as, oh wait, he was already dead. So he got the second gas <laughs> popping up and immediately three workers into it from Hero Marine. We can see the Orbital Command and Double Mule already going down for Strelok and Hero Marine now only just starting to land it. The worker supply at the moment is 29 to 26 in favor of our Blue Terran player, who's had a slightly earlier second mule as well. So a small advantage to our FXO player. Yeah, the FXO player looking quite sexy right now as he is going into his Banshee play. He's done that uh, a lot, the Banshee play. 
Let's see how it's going to be working out for him. Today, he also has produced two Widow Mines. Widow Mines, of course, excellent defensive units. We've seen in earlier series, Widow Mines get used offensively and burrowed into the enemy mineral line. But of course, that's not as good of a strategy versus a Terran, because a Terran can just scan and take it out with Marines. Wouldn't work at all. But versus Protoss, we saw it be recent, uh, relatively effective. It didn't win Hero Marine the game, but he did some damage. He denied so much mining time, but that was a long time ago. Let's focus on this game. Now, Strelok this time around is going for two additional factories and a money scan from Hero Marine sees exactly what's going on. He sees the two tech labs being vacated for the two factories, so he knows that a mecking build is coming straight up from his blue opponent. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Oh, and have we lost Lillian there on the Skype call? We've either lost Lillian or I've lost sound, but never mind, guys. In the meantime, we have the Banshee from Astrelog popping in, trying to do a bit of damage in the natural expansion of Hero Marine. Unable to do so just yet. Uh, managing to get four kills so far this game. Three kills on the Banshee and oh, almost getting a fourth one, but a little bit of Miss Micro there. And there are Marines left over. Has to be so careful because that Banshee is down to half health. Lillian, are you around, mate? Yeah, I'm around. Sorry, go. I don't know what happened there. A little hiccup in uh, in the Skype call. Skype has been better, though, on me as of late. I mean, uh, we used to have a lot of trouble when we were casting, like, play M dailies, and Skype used to be a little bit of an, uh, you know, an annoying Skype sometimes. Skype used to be, like, the third caster, basically. We were just so <laughs> used to it. Just be, like, randomly robo-voicing us and uh, deciding to cut us out when it feels like. It was, it was a temperamental beast. These days, it's a little bit better. Yeah, it's been tamed. I I got my whip. I wouldn't I, I wouldn't go that far. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty wild still, man. <laughs> it still does what it wants. It's just tricking us into thinking that we've tamed it. <laughs> Indeed. So the harassment with this Banshee out of Strelok is still going down. He's trying to find angles to do damage. Killed two SCVs at the natural. Now gonna go into the main. Might actually be able to do some really decent damage here. Killing one. And we'll be able to kill a second SCV here. This Banshee is not killing all of units at the same time. But he is getting two there, two there, three here. And has now in total killed seven workers. That is not bad at all. Good Banshee control by Strelok there, not being over eager, not wanting to get all the damage done immediately, but being patient is working out for him. Yeah, it really is. And uh, uh, this is basically what you need to do. Yes, technically the Banshee has been countered and there are Marines in the mineral line just waiting for the Banshee to pop in so that they can get their damage done and destroy the Banshee essentially. So the best thing for Strelok to do right now is to make sure Hero Marine stays in his base so that he can maintain map control. And the best way to do that, of course, simply keeping the Banshee alive. But I do believe that Viking has something to say about that. <laughs> the Viking uh, had something to say about that. Takes it out. Now gonna be flying uh, towards the middle of the map with the rest of the army for Hero Marine who is now moving out. The army for Strelok though, in a very defensive position, I was gonna say, but as soon as I say that, he unseiges and starts moving towards the middle of the map. We <laughs> could be going for a bit of an engagement in the middle of the map, which would make um, Hero Marine have a bit of an advantage in case Strelok is not sieged up when he hits. But the Watchtower, of course, in Strelok's control, he should be fine. Oh, I'm not sure he wants to stim into that. Needs to be very careful losing a couple of units there to that siege tag fire, like you mentioned, Lillian. And this is an interesting situation because we have a lot of hellbats for Strelok, but significantly more bio composition with the tanks from Hero Marine. And as we know, uh, 4GG used that bio composition very, very well against hellbats earlier on tonight, but that's because he was able to attack from multiple directions at once. Right now, not an option for Hero Marine. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Hero Marine has to basically fall back right now and try to somehow defend against this. Strelok has got such a powerful army up by about 20 supply right now. Has to use the mobility of his uh, bio composition, the Hero Marine that is, to somehow defend against this. How many siege tanks does he have out on the field? Only one. Ooh. That could be difficult, Jorosar. Could be a difficult defense. It could indeed. We have, uh, ooh, a unit getting picked off there at the third base of Strelok. Uh, of Marine, rather. Sorry, Hero Marine. And uh, Strelok is going to be moving in there to try and siege things up. Now, he does have, I believe, a significantly superior tank count. 11 to 2 right now. But, like we've seen in previous series, he needs to make sure he sieges them up in really good positions close to his enemy's infrastructure. If Hero Marine can very simply keep Strelok away long enough that he can get enough units to flank from both sides, then I think our mouse sports player is just gonna just gonna steamroll him if he's able to do that. 
It could be, it's all gonna come down to the positioning. The two siege tanks have taken position and Streloc is going for it. He's forcing his way in here. The siege tanks are too far back. Exactly. Nobody's really shooting at anything. And that's been the problem earlier for Streloc. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Needs to go back there. Right, so that engagement, here's what happened. Streloc was guilty of something he has done uh, in a couple of engagements. Now the siege tanks are so far back. There's even three or four down here that had absolutely no role to play in that engagement. And for that reason, uh, Hero Marine there managed to get a lot more purchase on that attack than was otherwise uh, than he otherwise deserved. However, behind this, it has to be said, Strelok's doing a good job of trying to deny his opponent's third because his own third is now comfortably up in mining, and he's got some widow mines there to defend as well. Yeah, he's in um, a decent position to go ahead and defend that. Hero Marine is is holding on right now, Jurasar, but. Can he really make up for, for the lack in income and the economical disadvantage that he's been in? He does have more workers, strangely enough, so Hero Marine can definitely make a comeback. Stralok even has four SCVs with his main army, so he has even less SCVs mining back at home. So if Hero Marine is able to stabilize and does get enough siege tanks up in good positions to be able to defend his third base, he can definitely come back and be alright in this game. But so far, this sieging out of Stralok is looking quite relentless. Yeah, it's. I still want to say it's a little bit too far back because it's basically Hero Marine can just sit here and say, well, I'm not exactly on any sort of timer. I'm just waiting uh, for you to make a move. He, mm -hmm. Strelok also hasn't spread his tanks enough that he's covering the natural ramp as well. Yes, he has a help out at the watchtower, but Hero Marine could easily, for example, maybe try and load up a drop or uh, come out the natural ramp with a couple of units to attempt a flank or something like that. Strelok at, at some there point needs to 1A and go. Oh, okay. How about now? Yeah, how about now? That's a good time for Strelok. Strelok, oh my god, this t are so far back. back! What is he? Oh well, he's got a few uh, who are in range of the orbital right now. But yeah. you're right, Jurassar. These siege tanks in the back, about 12 of them, hardly contri tr contributed to that fight at all. But it's still gonna be working out for him. Hero Marine only has like one, two, three, four, five siege tanks total, and he's gonna try his luck with the, with the counter attack, which oh. I think is is the best move that he could have made at this point. Counter attacking using the mobility of his bio army. Two widow mines and two siege tanks at the third base. And at the natural, a lot more siege tags moving forward right now. Will Strelok be able to hold this? The two tags try to move forward. We've got some Hellions here to try and tank the damage as well. And Hero Marine not looking like he can break through here because two more tags sieged up. And yup, he's going to be completely and utterly fine. So Strelok in a very good position now. Mm hmm. Strelok uh, holding on very nicely there, taking out the third base. Or, well, not taking it out, but forcing it to lift off. Not. Um, mining at all for Hero Marine is just sitting there doing nothing and Hero Marine knows he has to break this contain and he's gonna try it with a flank we saw 4GG be successful with this kind of strategy oh, this Will is gonna be good. for Hero Marine yeah this is gonna be pretty good and uh, he's gonna come from both directions once even bringing SCVs as well taking out the offensive supply depot from Strelok there interestingly but this army will be more than enough to break this contain so Hero Marine will be able to once again retake his third the problem for him is that Strelok is already taking his fourth. Supply is currently 146 to 175 in Strelok's favor, and the worker supply also in his favor, 65 to 51. Yeah, 27 workers killed in this game. That's a, a, a relatively high amount for my Hero Marine to lose. He lost so many workers trying to break that contain, maybe even pulled a few too many SCVs. And I don't want to say this is quite an all-in attack out of Hero Marine, but I feel like he has to do some very significant damage to not fall hugely behind Strelok here. So he knows there's a lot on the line. He wants to be pushing in uh, here. Oh, Doom drop into the main with tanks. Do and no, it looks like Strelok already has that covered. The Vikings going back a little bit. So He's going to stim forward with unseach tanks. There's a lot of tanks here, though, for Strelok, and the splash damage could be significant. Has Hero Marines concave just about got enough? It looks like he might be able to force Strelok back here. Yeah, he is going to force Strelok back, actually. Wow, that was... That was more than I expected him to do there, and he will be denying the fourth base in the middle of the map. The Vikings are still alive though, so that means superior vision for Strelok, and Strelok still has uh, the bigger standing army. He has 60 siege tanks at the top there, and he has four more siege tanks at his natural, and he still has the SCV lead. So that was something that Hero Marine definitely needed. He equalized the supplies and kind of got back into the game. Let's take a look at the upgrades, Jurosar. How's that looking? 
The upgrades at the moment are 2-1 for Strelok, and they're currently 1-1 on Bio, interestingly, for Hero Marine. So, uh, as far as that goes, the tanks are just doing superior damage from Strelok, but if mm -hmm. Hero Marine can make his maneuverability count, he can duck in and get damage done ninja style a little bit faster. Yeah, he could. The Marines and Marauders of Hero Marine, the Bio Army, was positioning itself to maybe poke at the fourth base, but the fourth base is now a planetary fortress. There is a sensor tower there. The scan goes down by Hero Marine, and he sees everything that I just pointed out, and he's going to be like, yeah, I cannot really push into that anytime soon. Yeah, I think that's correct. And if you take a look at the third base of Strelok as well, just look at how much defense is here. If you told me, if you just gave me a screenshot of this base and asked me who built it, I would have said Goody would have been my first answer. Three siege tanks, two widow mines, <laughs> enough turrets to destroy a fleet of carriers probably. He does not want anything getting in there. And we have a triple drop into the main base. Yep, there they come. Uh, uh, even two siege tanks in there. And this might be exactly what Hero Marine means. Taking out the production of Strelok could really um, strengthen his comeback into this game. He is taking out a few add-ons here and there. Takes out a few supply devotes. Kills a lot of uh, tech labs actually. Already killed two and he's still being very cost efficient here. But of course, he is going to get cleaned up sooner or later. Yeah, he's doing. Uh, he's being actually very, very cost effective with this push. Uh, but Hero Marine now having to pull back. Just remember, at the moment, uh, the income is only just about in Hero Marine's favor. But that fourth base was taken earlier from Strelok, so he will be able to saturate that sooner if he wants to. The worker supply is dead even at 57 at the moment, which is why we don't see a significant income advantage for the Terran with the additional base. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right, uh, Jurassar. The uh, Let's take a look at the units lost tab for funsies. 15.6k resources lost for Hero Marine and 14.2 for Strelok. And that's not a position you want to be in when you are down a base. So Hero Marine still in a tough position. Also, because he is not upgrading. Look at the upgrade, Jurassar, for Strelok. He's getting plus three vehicle weapons and he's getting ship weapons level two. And what is Hero Marine getting? He's getting nothing. He still has one one bio upgrades and no upgrades for his uh, tanks and mech army at all. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit tough. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, if you're going to go into a very long game here, never mind, another drop going down in the main base, and so once again, trying to go past those watchtowers, and the bio army taking out a significant portion this time. No help, that's just Hellion, so uh, able to tank a little bit less there, and so much getting taken out by these marauders. That's a lot of resources there that Strelok just lost. And look at the resources lost tab, almost dead even now. Yeah, just equalize the units lost out there. So those drops are definitely working for Hero Marine and they are buying him time. They are forcing Strelok to be defensive. And now Hero Marine has grabbed himself a fourth base in the middle of the map that he oh so desperately needed because he had been down a base. He was down in workers pretty much the entire game. But now they are on equal bases, equal workers-ish, but still the upgrades for Strelok, man. Those upgrades are so good for Strelok. Four Hellions into the third base of Hero Marine, and they are indeed still good. Remember the poem I recited earlier? Well, guess what? It is still ringing true. Healthy number of workers killed right now. That was a total, I believe, of 16 killed by uh, Hero Marine so far this game, but 39 for Strelok. Yeah, in the meantime, Hero Marine is pushing. Oh, this is going to be a massacre, I feel. I don't think this is working out for Hero Marine at all. Those plus three siege tanks are demolishing the army of Hero Marine. And that's got to be it. GG comes out of Hero Marine. And Strelok ties the series up 1-1.